right now. Pictures we want to show you of a daring rescue on the high seas, in fact. Three fishermen hanging on to their capsized boat are pulled from the rough, frigid waters off the coast of Vancouver by a passing cruise ship. A spokesman for Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines says if it weren't for their warm protective suits, the fishermen probably would not have survived. A dramatic rescue in raging seas off British Columbia. Wait till you see these pictures. The cruise ship Radiance of the Sea was a lifeline for three fishermen whose boat was sinking. The story now from Samantha Shatsky of Global TV. With winds whipping at more than 100 kilometers an hour, three men desperately cling to their sinking fishing boat. The crew sent out a distress call at 5 a.m. after the 25-meter Silver Bounty started taking on water. Suddenly they realized that water came, water came into the engine room and it was rising and they started to pump, of course. And they pumped and pumped and the, the, the water came more and more and more so that it didn't help. The ship was sinking by the second and as the waves pounded against them, waiting for help was their only option. Their life raft had already been snatched away by the high seas. We came as soon as possible. But when we got the information, we was only 23, 24 miles off, so we were quite close. Okay, I also have Still, it took the Royal Caribbean cruise ship Radiance of the Seas almost an hour to reach the scene. And despite the dangerously rough ocean and high winds, the captain immediately sent a boat in to save them. The other side. They see them. They see them. When we got to the scene, they were jumping in the sea when they saw that the rescue was on the way. So they were swimming towards the boat? Yeah. And uh, when we pulled them out, I pull, we pulled out the, the youngest guy first. And then when I, I wanted to pull out the captain, but the captain said, take the other crew. So he was very professional and uh, wanted to bring him out last. Coming back, coming back. Luckily, the men had been wearing protective suits, which kept them warm in waters that are only about 10 degrees Celsius. One person on board. Two person on board. The three were brought on board and treated for mild hypothermia, and then eventually dropped off at the Coast Guard station near Port Hardy. Rescued were skipper Dave Willis from Courtney, seen here in the middle, and Tanner Derry and Robert Ward from Prince Rupert, seen on either side. It's a wonderful feeling. Um to be able to rescue uh, people and save lives. But that's uh, very good that you actually, uh, all training you put in uh, practice, uh, that you can put it in use. They got him on. Passengers disembarking from the one-week cruise couldn't say enough about the heroic crew. There was a, a conference given on the ship yesterday afternoon and the captain had a standing ovation. Yeah, and the rescuers so, as well. So, and the, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It, was, it, was, it was actually a great atmosphere on, on the ship. Absolutely marvellous that the, the the ship happened to be in the right place at the right time. And if we all wondered what happened, the ship came to a sudden stop. But when we realized that three lives were saved, we felt good. That was excellent, yes. Three happy families somewhere. Hours later, when this cold water and their brush with death were just a bad memory, the fishermen met with their rescuers and looked at pictures of how lucky they really were. Nice guys. We well, made friends forever. <laughs> What an absolutely incredible story. Uh, we salute those rescuers and, of course, Skipper, uh, what uh, tremendous uh, courage and honor you have, uh, especially with regard to how you treated your crew. That report by Samantha Shatsky of Global TV. The right place at the right time, I'd say. Huh? <laughs> yes, yes. Little, nice little Scottish... Uh... I should say. I should say. He's a Highlander there, yes. Hi, I'm John Davidson. You're watching RCTV. Now, that's incredible.